A few faculty members have asked me how to go about conducting a Moodle quiz that involves the requirement for uh, work to be shown. So for example, if you're teaching a math class and you're doing equations and you want to see that students can actually uh, can actually work their way through a problem or maybe you're requiring a uh, diagram to be produced or a picture to be drawn. So here's a, a fairly simple workaround that I, that I found that seems to work pretty well. So this is the uh, image that you would see if you are a student. Let's actually go through and I'll make sure that I am, yep, so I'm in student mode right now. So this is actually the student's eye view. This is what Moodle is going to look like on a smartphone. This is a Galaxy uh, S8. I just had a student try this out for me on a iPhone to make sure the process works on an iPhone as well, and it does. So I can tell you it'll at least work on Samsung and iPhone and iPhone. So. This is what it looks like. You can see it's pretty seamless, right? It's it's a, it's a good presentation. So let's choose this made up quiz I have right here. Here's my new quiz. It's going to open up. So I'm going to reattempt this quiz. It's a timed quiz. So this is what the students might see. So you're opening up to the quiz. Here is my uh, bit of text, etc. But this is what I wanted to show you. So I have just gone in and I have created an essay question. Within the essay question, I have set the options for submission to allow attachments, and then I have also required an attachment. And those are two specific things you can do. You should also turn off the requirement that they put text on there. So turn off text, require an attachment, and allow them an attachment. You've got to click all those three things when you set it up. But otherwise, this is just a... Uh, this right here is just a uh, essay question. So the trick what I want to be able to do is I'm going to allow them, ordinarily you'd be uploading a, 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 a document file of some kind. But instead, if we click on the upload button right here, you see that I am prompted to choose a file. I'm going to choose a file and then I'm prompted to use my camera. And so at that point, the students can be working things out on paper. And so they can be, you know, doing an equation, you know, one plus uh, one, uh, two is equal to three or you know, drawing a picture of a volcano or whatever you might have them be doing, they can do that. They can then just take an easy snapshot of their picture. OK, and I'm going to upload this file. And you can see that that is now included. There it is. So I've just gone through it as an instructor to make sure this works. And when you go into review, it shows up within the, uh, the markable field. And when you hit it, it downloads to your computer and you can take a look right there just like you would open up any other image files. So this seems to work pretty well as a workaround. Uh, it also fulfills the function which we want to do here to make everything accessible as possible through a phone. So try it out for you. This might work as well.